It was terrifying. Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone kept shouting. It's the great pumpkin. Still, at least Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And I suppose Heather's costume was quite flattering. After what seemed like forever, everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed to watch a scary film before she went to bed, but I had to help Alice and Mr. Deck clean up. To get you, I wasn't happy about this, but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Alice was vacuuming, and Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations. So I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. The ear-splitting sound was the fire alarm. As usual Mr. Deck blamed Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. But then the professor appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Alice looked confused, saying that she hadn't cooked anything since the morning. We were all surprised when Mr. Deck opened the oven. Inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, there's someone on the roof. When we went outside, it slowly became obvious that it was Mr. Silton. He was completely naked, and playing his guitar. He shouted down. When I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old lady said, oh my god, I know this one, there's only about 30 seconds left. The old man then quickly turned to me and said, you know what to do. By the time I had made it up to the roof, Mr. Silton was beside the edge. I tried to calm him down. But he was acting even more bizarre than usual. After an hour or so, Mr. Silton was fine. He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. Still, he was soon laughing and joking with the paramedics. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. I don't think Mr. Silton liked that. So he told his own joke. But that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmallow Marso. I don't think he liked that either. 
but at least he was still in one piece. A month or so later, Heather and I were playing video games, when the old man said he wanted me to come outside. He said it had been a year since I had arrived, so he had a present for me. He placed the teddy bear high up on a wooden platform, he then told me I should try to pick it up. Try as I might, I couldn't reach the teddy bear. However, I still don't understand what happened next.
Was I dead? Was this heaven? It sort of looked like the basement bathroom. It was the shoes the old man was going to give me. I thought I might as well put them on. They were just the right size. The old man's hat fit me pretty good as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I wore it. Amazingly, the shoes allowed me to defy gravity. Or maybe it was the hat.